President Trump in El Paso, Texas, at this hour, right now meeting with first responders. Just seconds ago, speaking out, doubling down on his slam of Democratic politicians, the mayor of Dayton, Ohio, Nan Whaley, and Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown. Well, they shouldn't be politicking. Yeah, they shouldn't be politicking today. Uh, I had it with Sherrod Brown. Uh, he and the mayor, Nan Wally, uh, they asked uh, to go in. Could we possibly go in and make the tour with you? I said, yeah, let's do it. They couldn't believe what they saw, and they said it to people. We, they've never seen anything like it. The entire hospital, no different than what we had in El Paso, the entire hospital was, uh, I mean, Everybody was so proud of the job they did because they did a great job. They did a great job here. And then I say goodbye. I took them in at their request. We made the tour. They couldn't believe it. She said it to people. He said it to people. I get on Air Force One where they do have a lot of televisions. I turn on the television, and there they are saying, well, I don't know if it was appropriate for the president to be there, you know, et cetera, et cetera, you know, the same old line. And they're very dishonest people, and that's probably why he got I think about 0% that he failed as a presidential candidate. We're going to go in and see some very great people. And uh, I wanted to meet this hero before I did anything. And we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank you, So what happened in Ohio? Well, President Trump met with victims from the shooting in Dayton, along with the mayor and the senator, Whaley and Brown. That visit clearly rattled the president because he got on the plane, as he said, from Ohio to Texas. And then his social media director, Dan Scavino, tweeted about the press conference that Whaley and Brown held after the visit. Here's the tweet. Very sad to see Ohio Senator Brown and Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley lying and completely mischaracterizing what took place with the president's visit in Miami Valley Hospital today. The president was treated like a rock star inside the hospital, which was all caught on video. They all loved seeing their great president. The president then followed up that tweet with one of his own, saying it was a warm and wonderful visit. Quote, then I saw a failed presidential candidate, 0%, Sherrod Brown, and Mayor Whaley totally misrepresenting what took place inside the hospital. Their news conference after I left for El Paso was a fraud. It bore no resemblance to what took place with these incredible people that I was so lucky to meet and spend time with. They were all amazing. In a sense, this is like living in an alternate universe because the president's and Scavino's description of Brown and Whaley's press conference seems to be completely at odds with what they actually said. Just listen to what they said about the president. Oh, he was comforting he was and he nice. did the right things. I think the victims and the first responders were grateful that the president of the United States came to Dayton. So the president did the right things. The victims were grateful that he was there. So if Brown and Whaley were lying about what they said about the president when they said these good things about him, then what were they lying about? He was treated very well by the victims, for sure. And do you have a response to the lying part that Dan Scavino says you were lying? I don't know. I'm now, Brown and Whaley say Trump's visit was the right thing and the victims were grateful. Trump says they're lying we can only assume not only assume not about that, not about the fact that they said that he, it, was, it was a great thing that he came. But here's one important thing. We don't know what exactly happened inside that hospital because reporters were kept away. Now, the White House says that's because the visit was not a photo op, right? Which, that, that's, that's a good thing to say. But as Dan Scavino says, there's all this video, that's because they took video themselves. They then released the photos and a highly produced video of the visit, even set to music. So, I guess it wasn't a photo op.